Greetings and good times, and I hope people are doing well today. Hi FLC, hi remotely, hope you two are doing well, and good luck with BG3 remotely. <laughs> it's such a good game, but I think they've added a lot more since I played it, and I really should do an evil playthrough. But I want to do a full Baldur's Gate playthrough, as in BG1, BG2. Even though they're really old and kind of terrible mechanics, looking at you, Thaco. <laughs> I really want to do a full evil playthrough through all of those. Granted, the evil playthroughs in BG1 and 2 would be different, because BG3 actually really supports it. It will go faster, you think? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean... I always remember playing an evil character in D&D 5th edition in a real life game. The campaign didn't last long because we had literally the worst player I've ever played D&D &D with. Like, if you take all the tropes of all, and all the memes of terrible players and roll them into one person, he was it. He was... he said he wasn't a power gamer, as in min-maxer, but he definitely tried being. Um, didn't care about anyone else but himself and all his fun to the point where when I took over and ran a mini campaign to give the DM a break he got up at one point as I'm role playing with a different person walked around the table and crouched down next to me to talk to me about a rules question then I killed off one of his characters Due to him being stupid, not my fault, they went into a fight against kobolds and lost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> um, and it wasn't a difficult fight. In fact, if you went onto Cobbled Fight Club back then, it was very easy. It's just the kobolds used tactics because they were on their land. Um... He tried casting suggestion on a merchant, that the merchant succeeded the save, then called for the guards, at which point said player cast fireball inside the shop and escaped. We fled the town and we got to another one. He pulled the exact same stunt, it went the exact same way except he got caught and we ditched his character. We left them and it split the party. Um, and then he decided he wanted to run a campaign, so he convinced two of the other players to leave the group. It was wild. Um, but yeah. What was I? Oh yeah. He also wanted to play with alignments. And I said to him, look, we shouldn't play alignments, especially because you don't know what they are. And what they represent. Can you guess what his alignment? I'll tell you it's chaotic neutral because he thought that oh I could just balance it I can do good here so I can do evil over here. I'm like no that's not how that works. You doing evil means you're fucking evil. <laughs> he says well what about you you're obviously lawful good. I'm like no I'm lawful evil. I'm like, yeah but you're helping people. Yes I'm I'm building my own army of followers. <laughs> it's just you're not noticing that <laughs> but I'm doing it lawfully I'm sticking to the rules <laughs> I'm going through all the town all the proper channels going and helping beggars and people that are not well off in this time-worn country that we're in it's like you need to learn how to play <laughs> speaking of playing I need to play this game and I love that they've added Dahl to line up continue but yeah that's my rant for the day probably hopefully hey it got us straight back here nice let's start getting the Callan situation on here sheltered us at rebel hideout I'm about to invade okay so here we go Dal Sabin likes 
Trucks, dogs, wine, welding, brutally strong cheese. Dislikes. I've dedicated my life to gutting the regime that's choking my country. You're really asking me what I dislike. Oh, put olives. Fuck all the olives. They're like if salt could vomit. I mean, yeah. Hobbies. Sometimes I break into the Parkside Vehicle Depot and jam defective tear gas grenades inside their condensers, so next time they roll out to chase us, they'll choke on their own fucking smoke. Used to play hockey. I love all the dialogue in this game, even if it's written. Doll's an icon of the Kalani Resistance. Every DSR news piece on it still uses that photo of her smashing into... What photo of me? The wall of riot priests at Chalice Square. We always assumed she was one of them who defected, but apparently she never was. She stole the armor from one she killed, because she's fucking hardcore. She used to fix cars, I still fix cars. Now she fixes and customizes her own armor. Again, I love all of these. Rebel hideout. Not actual location, obviously. We didn't realise how urgently we'd need a safe house when we got to Callum, so thank god Dahl took us in. We're in some disused maintenance tunnels beneath the old city. It's one of many hideouts the Resistance used to plan ops against the chapel. And then the chapel. Kalan's religious dictatorship. Oh Jesus Christ. The chapel is both church and state in Kalan. It started harmlessly enough as strict to imp <laughs> No, the chapel engaged in ethnic cleansing as early as the 50s. Oh god. A stricter interpretation of Korism, which has always been Kalan's primary religion. No, Kalandi was the national faith before 1720. That's where Kalan comes from. <laughs> but since most of Kalan's secular groups split off to form Medill in the 70s, the <laughs> <laughs> the literal fascists has gained tighter and tighter control over Kalanis' lives and freedoms. This is why I asked you to write this one, <laughs> Jen. Fine, all you need to know is what we're fighting for. The right to elect our own leaders, the right to worship any or no religion, a publicly accountable justice system, the release of all surviving pr persons incarcerated without trial, all four are classified as heresy. Damn. No other new ones. Okay. Shelter does at the Rebel Hideout. And... About to invade the Rebel Hideout? Oh no, they're not the. Oh, it's down here. Medill. Details. Medill declared independence from Kalan in the Septic Revolt of 1970. Or oh, Skeptic, maybe. Um, yeah, probably Skeptic. Since then, it's suffered repeated invasions from foreign powers looking to secure its natural resources, including the world's primary supply of the mineral used to make synthetic mana. These days, the DSR occupies metal, with the force almost entirely composed of contracted reactor troops, but now reactor have gone rogue. Chapel leaders have often claimed Medill still rightfully belongs to Callum, but this is the first time since the revolution that it's come, out, come to outright war. Dal, please fact check. The Callum stuff is close enough. Ask him Medill and two about the rest. Thing. And how this recording fits in. Okay. I need to do obtained the recording. The chapel would kill to suppress this. A resistance agent managed to record the first chaplain telling his advisors they're only invading metal security to secure its mana mines, and... Sorry, Nityard. And that they've been lying about communing with the dead to justify it. 
If enough people see this, it could make an actual difference to the chapel's stronghold, or stranglehold on Callum. Oh, and we've got Chapel of the Closed Fist. Chapel Military Command. Apparently, the chapel's key institutions are each modelled after a core value they preach. The Closed Fist is about showing no mercy to the faithless, and this is where they plan their military ops. The Resistance got an agent inside and recorded the first chaplain being way too honest about their reasons for invading Medal. Oh, it's probably Medill. But I'm going to say Medal. <laughs> Chapel of the Civil Tongue, Chapel's main broadcast centre. All state authorised media in Kalan is controlled from this huge tech hub, from TV channels to the state sanctioned internet. If you want to get something in front of the average Kalani family, it has to come from here. Okay, so... Revealed motives of... The chapel... Made at... Chapel of the Closed Fist... Must be broadcast at Chapel of the Civil Tongue. All of which adds up to... Motive for invasion has military use for. Oh, we got mana dust and mana mines. Okay, so that's probably mana dust, but let's read it. Actually, let's read the mines first. Mana mines beneath the central reserve. The rarest ingredient in synthetic mana is brillium calcite. And most of the world's supply come from the mines in southern Medill. DSR has always been shady about what they were mining it for. But now that there's whispers of reactor finding a military use for synthetic mana, it's becoming pretty obvious. Now global powers like the chapel are taking an even keener interest in controlling it. Mana dust from the mines in South Medill. The rarest ingredient in synthetic mana is brillium calcite, and most of the world's supply comes from the mines in southern Medill. It's been a valuable resource in the energy industry for decades, but now that there's whispers of reactor finding a military use for synthetic mana, global powers like the chapel are taking an even keener interest in controlling it. Okay, they were both the same. Hey, that all makes sense to me. No rush if you want to rearrange or go over the details, though. There's nothing else to read, right? No. Okay. Ooh, we have new dreams. Ding! Shining armor. And we have new chats. Ooh, two new chats. Great. You've been quiet since we got to Kalam. You've been quiet since we got to Kalam. Because we're wasting our time here. Overthrowing a fascist regime and stopping a war? It's not our fight. We should be focused on Kennedy. It's urgent. The stakes are huge and we can help. You can help. Later. I've got six months to live and I want to make damn sure Kennedy hits the morgue before I do. My god, Dessa, I had no idea it was that short. I'm sorry. It's... don't be. I just threw that out for effect. Truth is, there aren't enough cases for an accurate prognosis. So I get to live in limbo till it happens. That's awful. I'm sorry. I get that it's personal with Liv. But can I just make the Kalan case to you? It seems inevitable. This might be the war we're here to stop. I'm not here to stop a war. I'm here to kill the piece of shit who locked me up and forced me to serve her at gunpoint. Okay, that's why you came, but as a doctor, when there's a crisis, don't you drop everything to help? When I was a surgeon, maybe, but this power, my craft, I could save people no one else can. That's my focus now. Someone else can help Callan. Only we can stop Kennedy. 
Zan's the only one who can react before she hits. You're the only one with the tools and talent to track her. And I'm the only one who can resurrect you when you get yourself killed again. <laughs> you think I'm talented? Don't get it twisted. It's just a fact. Jen doesn't know where to look. You found me in the middle of the desert in another country inside of two days while on the lam. What else would you call it? <laughs> I actually found you the same night, but we had to wait for a ferry. You took the ferry to break me out. We don't have a chopper. You couldn't spring for a flight? We're on the lam. Ah, should have stuck with the mafia. <laughs> What if only we can help Kalan? We're scalpels, not hammers. I'm new at it, but it seems like fighting a regime with a thousand times your manpower is very much a scalpel problem. When you've got a medical degree, you can tell me what's a scalpel problem. It's not a degree level analogy, Dessa. We can all grasp the concept of precision. Oh, she does have a spine in there somewhere. Did it take a medic medical degree to figure that one out? Hell yes, more spicy gen in future, please. I feel like you were losing this argument and you've somehow made it about me, but in a sort of nice way that's making me feel weird and unable to refocus. That was the play, yeah. Okay, move on. We have no leads anyway, why not help out till we do? Because it's a huge risk. Chapel don't kill people if they can help it. They lock them up so they can't be martyrs. Killed, I can fix. Captured, I can't. I've been jailed two times this week. Long as I have this gun, there won't be a third. Is this gonna be a problem? One more. You got me for one more chapel off. Then I'm back on Kennedy, with or without you. I prefer with. So you're still a believer after all this. I love these little moments. I'm a chorist, that's my faith, not the chapel. Also, I love the references. <laughs> The chapel is a regime that's taken the threads of our beliefs and used them like puppet strings. Chorism runs deep enough in Callum that it's worked on far too many people for far too long. What threads? Our dead, they're the closest thing we have to what you might call a god. We listen to them, we honour them, above all else. Real Chorism is about learning to hear those voices and honouring their wishes in ways that make sense. The chapel's version is that only they can hear the dead and you go to their priests to find out what your loved ones want, to, want you to do. Maybe a stupid question, but do you literally talk to the dead? Ever lost anyone? Yes. You can't hear their voice when you want to? Not enough. You get better at it. Like craft, if you're told it's not possible, you'll never try hard enough to truly do it. What does getting better at it look like? I can't do puzzles. My partner could. If I try one now, I ask him. Jida, what's this bullshit? And it'll come to me. Not the full solution. I'll never be as smart as him. But some flash of insight he would have had. And I can take it from there. If I died first, he'd be sitting here telling you he can fix cars. By asking me what the problem is. 
I'm so sorry. How long since he passed? Two years now. Killed by a riot priest. He wasn't even protesting. He cared about the fight more than I did. But the truth is, we'd probably never have stood up to the chapel. But now I'm locked in. With his fire in me, and I want to make them feel the full pain of that mistake every time I suit up. Can you tell me something about him? Like what? Anything. He... believes in me, like no one else. I told you I'd never be as smart as him, I can already hear him jumping in to defend me. He'd be telling you I'm a genius with engines. He'd tell you I invented the carburetor, which I didn't. He'd tell you that I won a hockey tournament for our team with my playbook of dirty tricks, which I guess I did. I used to carry his belief around with me like a torch. It lit up all the things I could do. Now I carry it like a combustion engine. Jen leaves a respectful pause. He sounds great. He is. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for giving a shit. Oh. Can I get any new outfits? I don't really care about his outfits because I already have dark arts. I still need six more for Death MD. And I kind of don't care about these. Though I'm wondering if when we get Ascender unlocked. <laughs> Resistance. Resistance hideout. The next day. Just got word from command we're hitting the chapel of the civil tongue tonight. It's the broadcast centre all the state TV channels go out from, and it's our only way of getting the truth about the invasion out to the people who actually need to hear it. What changed? They've got a new team they th think can penetrate the heavy security there, so I hope you guys can play nice with others. That's our job. We're the distraction. Oh, come on. Hey, they liked your strategy. You said the distraction should make them sweat. Did I mention Zan's actually very stupid and gives garbage advice? <laughs> Take it as a compliment. After the closed fist hit, the chapel is so scared of the four of us that we qualify as the brute force contingent. The other team are the precision instruments. Weird. I still don't feel complimented. <laughs> you get used to it. Come on, we're gonna rendezvous on, rendezvous on site. Chapel of the Civil Tongue. Rendezvous with the strike team. Let's go. Dot, 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 dot. You have got to be fucking kidding. Hey, Zam. You've met. These, these are the fucking guys. These are literally the fucking guys we're here to stop. Ah, well you can kill each other after. We're in the lion's jaws now. We stay focused or we're tuned. You don't understand who these people are. You've hired the devil to fight a church full of demons. Sounds like the right tool for the job. Yeah, much as I'm with you on this, Zan, you did make it sound super fucking cool. Even if it was my call, we don't change plans mid-mission. The teams stand. This is doomed. Don't shit your robes, Zan. I'll lend you some reactor guys to save you when you choke. Zan looks back at Doll. Please don't trust them with anything important. They're sending the broadcast. Oh, for fuck's sake. God, I don't know what your angle here is, Liv, but if you screw with this up, I will end you. Only time you've ever been a threat to me, Zan, was the last time you had my back. You're up against the big boys now, Kellen. Your little sparks aren't going to cut it. Let's see how it goes for the traffic cone who already lost to me twice. Next time you undo my kills, Doc, we're going to find out if you can res yourself. 
Next time you try smack talk, we'll find out if you can fuck yourself. <laughs> I thought we were working together. I just wish you good luck. You've got a regime's worth of enemies. I'll take all the friends I can get. <laughs> Fist bump. Cool. Now the rest of us look like assholes. Inside. Later. We've got reactor backup coming in from the south. We're gonna have a problem. We're gonna have a problem when you guys meet. I'm not gonna compromise your op to settle the score, but if you think Lev Kennedy is gonna play by your rules, you're joining a long list of short lives. We'll keep an eye on her. Every one of us has the recording. She doesn't upload. No shortage of subs. Killing every one of us would not be outside her playbook. I'll leave it at that. Then let's go. Smashy, smashy. This feels so weird, but also kind of cool that they've just done this switch upon us. Uh, I need to kill the shepherd. What do we have? Prevent four reinforcements in total. Zero done. Destroy three weapon caches. Hmm. How in the hell do I do this? There's no mana. Okay, you wind. You're dealing two damage. No, not Zan. Rewind. Is there actually a control option? I was wondering if there's a button to rewind. You, oh, here we go. Rewind doesn't have, oh, it has backspace. Interesting. Oh, for mouse. Keyboard backspace. Z. <laughs> Control and Z. Hi, Puncher. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Creamy egg mayo sandwich with chips. Large chunks of egg. I had Hunter's chicken and chips today. <laughs> oh, did that save? Oops. Did good. So. Awesome. Um, probably isn't going to work because of him. Oh, technically you did no damage. Okay. He did mum. <laughs> Does that mean you ate the children? <laughs> if you're eating the egg? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I move you here and use it, is it open? And then they switch. Oh, 
Oh, it's so unfortunate. I can't knock them back. Throw it in that square? No, I can't. Hmm. Problem is, if I move Dal in here and use charge here, they get shot. Neither of them can get to this. Zan goes here and uses three volt burst. You're not in line of sight. Sweet. That doesn't really help. <laughs> This one still targets the closest. Oh, this is a difficult one. I'd really love to do the reinforcement thing. Zan's currently dead. He can hit that, but not this. if we throw this uh, it blocks movement and can be used as cover and does extra damage to things knocked into it what if I throw you over here and then charge into it you don't oh it's a window hang on what if I just charge it anyway you shoot you do shoot this doesn't, which is hilarious. How far away uh, How far away does this work? Yeah. 
Figured that wouldn't do much. Um, As to you, this won't do anything, I don't think. Yeah, it blocks it. Ooh, however, hang on. Do this. Move you there. Charge there. We can charge here. And seal the door. Close. This guy that's awful to deal with. I'm not sure how to f deal with it. <laughs> To, yeah, redeploy. You still in range of? Will you still attack? No, you won't. Okay. 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 Use laptop. Dial goes there. Charge. Now we know that this doesn't deal damage, so shouldn't trigger him. Accept that. <laughs> Use the laptop to open the security door. Yeah, I've done that. Dead, dead. Zan is the problem. Oh, Dal has mana though now. The Dal swaps with this dude, moves here.
Wait, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> awesome. I don't think this will do enough. Zan can't cover. Oh, wait. He got this. <gasps> Hang on. You don't have the mana yet. Hi Tom, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. I think this is in line of sight. Oh, maybe not. I'm blocked to it. Predictive bolt. What would you swap? False profit. One damage and knockback. So... <laughs> Stop, Tom. It's, it's Ocarina, Tom. No, it's not even that. It's Ocarina of Tom. <laughs> he gets mana back for that. Dal can still move. Dal will die if I attack this guy. What if I move here? Gotta crawl through the day and then it's ooh, three day weekend. Yay! On anniversary stay. Congratulations. Woo! take this guy out but then it leaves everyone else vulnerable like Zan currently can't move Um. 
Really wish I could get Predictive Bolt to work again. Okay. Instead of false profit right here, I'd love to stop the reinforcements though. to destroy three weapon caches. I've destroyed one. There's a second. May as well do predictive bolt. Let's do it. You yeah. Oh they killed it. Sweet. Charge hits a target, it's not going to hit a target. I just can't move far enough. Dan can murder them, it's easy. Bell's gonna have to charge here. Steel door. And Zan is gonna have to do a false profit here to seal the other door. But then Dal dies because this is too close, I think. Okay, Zan move here, predictive bolt, go there. Actually, and Zan false profit, not yet. If I go that, that might be too far. Yeah. False Prophet can't see the door. He has to go here. Okay. Thing is, I'm not entirely sure this'll work. Not yet. Bolt. 
charge again. Wait. Then you need to do a time boost. Get Dal out of there. Zan needs to false profit this, which gets his. Then I just need to destroy three weapon caches. Which, well, one more weapon cache, which is fine. <laughs> this poor thing. Okay, so you go here, seal door. Charge out of there. You have to destroy that. This thing can't attack. <laughs> but I'm fairly sure it's dead anyway. Done. Nice. Advance. Do we even need to go in there? Reactor and chapel shooting each other doesn't sound like a problem we need to solve. I'm not psyched about either one, but chapel have the edge. If they win, this broadcast never goes out. I know it's not your priority, but it could take years off their civil war. It could stop Medils before it starts. I guess we also need to get through this room afterwards. But there's also that. Bam. Okay. What do we have? Have Gen deal a total of 12 knockback cumulative. Okay. Transfer 3 damage at once. Well, they're hitting for five. But we do have mana. Okay, there's no one with actual range. Problem is she, oh, she can't actually do her thing. Hmm. Okay, you get there. Who's the laptop? Then that's door. Oh, wrong place. Death star. Gen static blast. He goes bye bye. That counts as two knockback. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, we got Gale Grenade 2 now. I've got two uses of it. Awesome. We are grabbing Intel anyway. You need to transfer to them, probably. No. Actually, no, that would work. Um... Wait, that works. Problem is this wall, but we do have an ad break coming up. The 
I am going to wait for it because as soon as I'm ready, it's not going to happen. But when I start to do something else, the ad break will start. <laughs> it always seems very delayed on the very first ad break. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit tough because of this wall. But it's probably why there's so many mana. Okay, let's go. Okay. Chain vault. No line of sight to it. Eight knockback done. How did I get eight? Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I got six, didn't I? Three for each. Um... I'm gonna rewind that, actually. Gale Grenade. Oh, I thought you would have been knocked into them. Okay. 
Oh, it's only not back one. They absorbed everything. And let's do this. Then we can chain bolt you into that, which will kill you. Hit 11 done. Nice. I didn't upgrade that. Oh, wait a sec. Does this work while... I moved you already, didn't I? I think that's fine. I was just seeing if I could potentially kill them. Oh, I missed you completely, didn't I? Oh yeah, that's a problem. Um... Chain bolts. Oh, just not enough. Ah, so very close. Jen here. I may not need to because she already has the mana. I move her here. Can you put a death star on this door? They're unsealable doors, aren't they? Yeah. That was pretty awesome. Grab Intel. This guy's kinda dead though. Unless I use both Gale grenades. And even then, it's not enough. But I guess. He's kind of dead. 
I'd rather save my Gale grenades. Oh, he's not dead because reactor go first. Cool. hit them twice. That's the chain shock in which you are the final target. Okay. <laughs> Easy kill. Plus, Jen can move here. No. Move. <laughs> Get the other intel. This guy could be a problem. But then again, he seemingly just dies. So it's all about this prick. Okay, rewind. Sedative. Because that will kill as soon as I move Jen. <laughs> Yeah, he just dies, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Good job, Reactor. Good job. Ding, ding. Advance. Seriously. We're here to back up the fire guy. This is a junction point. Reinforcements come through here to get to the server room. Right, but can you seal any of those doors? Dot dot dot, no. Boris Castra can, so we're backing up the fire guy. It's not even real fire. Would you run through it to get to a gunfight? Fine, we're backing up the fire guy. <laughs> oh. Wait, I get to control him? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Throw mild fire. Pearls a ball of somewhat blazing mild fire. Good for blocking unsealable doors or annoying people to death. Interesting. He can block unsealable doors. And he has some serious range. Jesus. Hmm. Problem is, I really want to <laughs> block this one. Although. I can't make the distance. Spend all mana to deal one damage per mana to a single target and then apply mild fire to them. Hmm. 
<laughs> no, it just doesn't even destroy the weapon, gosh. Um... I guess Dal goes here. Charge. You can't get to anyone just yet. Wait, let me rewind all that because I want to redeploy. There we go. Then you breach. We bolt first this guy. Oh, what do we... Prevent 10 reinforcements in total. Zero done. Have enemies collide with your riot block two times. Okay. That destroyed the riot block. Which kind of sucks. Still destroys it. Just not far enough. Pick it up again if I move next to it, but I can't because it's being destroyed. One less, hang on. What if I just move here and charge this? Oh, it still destroys it. I wonder if it's because it's entering his block and then dying to that explosion. Does it? It's got one armor, right? Oh, this deals three. Oh, no, it deals one damage. Hmm. Wait, I can do mild fire over here, right? I can. Yeah, I don't know how I can do dolls when my riot block just breaks. <laughs> That moves it one. If I move yeah. it 
Locked one damage. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that then. Because it's just gonna. That moves one. Yet if I move Dal there, throw the right block here. It blows up and dies. That worked, funnily enough. I just need them to get knocked into it. Wait, you don't have mana, so... Oh, it's gonna cost zero. Right, I see. What's this? Extinguish a tile of mild fire to draw its energy, gaining one mana. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Bobby's actually a pretty cool character. What the hell? The fire guy, sorry. Right, so I need Dal to actually move here to pick that up. And then I throw it there. If you go here... Okay. Throw mild fire. Although I really would like it there. Hang on. You can move... Oh. We've got a chapel. Who's gonna be shooting through the windows? Still not far enough. Okay, now he just can't attack anyone. <laughs> Fire. Roll fire. 
Can you incinerate this guy? Can't target them. There. He's still kind of in the way. Profile. Can't see it. Draw fire. Draw fire. Incinerate. Takes his gas mask off. Okay, we're gonna rewind all of this. Because Bori needs to be in a safer spot. Wait, can he target it through? He can. <laughs> okay. Draw fire. Draw fire. Draw fire. This guy has to be able to see both, I think. Shoots at anyone who attacks their allies if they can see both attacker and victim. They don't retaliate when attacked themselves. So we can just nuke you down. Zam. Addictive bolt. We rented 23 reinforcements. Nice. Um, I guess go and pick up your right block and grab the intel, because why the hell not? There's nothing else you can really do right now. Okay. Throw mild fire. And then draw fire. Can't take that. Draw fire. Draw fire. Incinerate. <laughs> After we kind of get to decent location. Yay. Was hoping that would do more. Damn. Yeah, he can't knock them back. Um, hmm. 
I shouldn't have taken that map. Actually, no, it wouldn't have worked. Um, No, wrong person. Refunds an action, so we can just go bam. And then we're done. I couldn't remember if it refunded the charge or the action. It was the action. All right, this room we could skip. Steve Clark's in there. Good with me, I've got games on my phone. Ah, but stopping a war. Ah, but it's Steve fucking Clark. I'm enjoying this immensely. Two world powers are battling, battling it out in this building and spiteful Jen versus activist Jen is still the fight of the night. Wish I had popcorn. Dot, dot, dot. Which one are you rooting for? Who do you think? Spiteful Jen is best, Jen. No contest. Oh god, but he's such a fucking loser. He's gonna screw this whole thing up if we don't save him. Yep, probably. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, I really thought he'd react to that. Maybe his hearing's not that good. My hearing is peerless. I'm choosing not to engage. Knew that'd get him. God damn it! Chanty. Spiteful Jen, spiteful Jen. <laughs> okay. This is kind of a tough one. Unless <laughs> we've got knock out all enemies, finish by the end of turn four, transfer three damage at once. Breach. You got here. Down, down, down. You go here and just seal it immediately. Um, Yep, thought that was going to happen. <laughs> Just had to test it though. Um, grab the intel. You go out the window, which is awesome. Ooh, hang on. You still get them. <gasps> you got both of them out of the window. <laughs> dun, dun. Hmm. It's 
the three damage at once. I could just leave this. Unless it's specifically three. No, it's three or more. <laughs> Finish by the end of turn four. There's a chance I can do that. Go here. Just got a static blast. Now I have to static blast you. Then I can run over here, seal the door. Heal the door. So now we just have this guy to take out. Who are you going to run for? Okay. It's pretty funny. Um... Problem is he's immune to this because he still has gas mask. No, I never checked if they run out of the gas mask. Now she can do that. Jake can run away. Actually. <laughs> bye bye. Job's done. Do, do, do. Ding, ding. Clean. All defenestrations. Kennedy says they're close to the content server. We just have to buy a them a little time. What's in here? Armory. Now that we've cut off their reinforcements, they're going to send every chump who works here to grab a gun and fight us to the death. We're going to smash their weapon caches before that happens. Anyone they send to stop us just makes Kennedy's job that much easier. 
making life easy for Liv Kennedy may not be the best way to sell Zan on this. I'm on a mission till that broadcast goes out. And I'm in the mood to smash some shit. <laughs> she takes that as instant breach. Okay. Oh, we've got all four of them this time. Awesome. Destroy at least seven more weapon caches in the next five turns. Finish with all team members conscious. Deal with all enemies by the end of turn five. Resurrect an unconscious hostile. What? Destroy at least nine more weapon caches by the end of this turn. <laughs> what? <laughs> you want me to destroy the weapon caches, but at the same time, you want me to destroy nine of them by the end of this turn. I mean, that one's easy to kill with one shot. The description on Resurrect. Revived enemies consider everyone hostile, a stunt for one turn, and cost no mana to res. Okay. How in the hell do I destroy nine weapon caches in a single turn? Uh, maybe have some of it. Jen, you need to go here. And broom breach. Ah, oh, you, oh, you can broom breach to there. Okay. Are they in order? Is the question. Yes, they are. Sweet. I need Zan. Breach. Go like here. Can you target? You can target that. Sweet. Oh, but this guy's in the way. Damn it. Zan, you go there actually. Um, Doc, you go here real quick. Death Star, there. They're unsealable doors as well. All of them. Okay. Dun -dun -dun -dun. I need you to Gale Grenade this way. Predictive Bolt. Gale Grenade. So he gets mana back. Then I need you to knock those back. Okay, good. So now you can move. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's an adjacent target for significant damage, then knock them back. Uh, 
Can you move that far? Is the question. No, you're going to have to move anyway, because you don't have mana. Okay, so Jen moves here, and then Zan time boosts her. Jen can static blast that. Zan, can you target this? Sure can. Okay. Destroyed two. It's this that could be a little problem. Jen, use the laptop. This need line of sight. You throw it an ally, so yeah, it probably needs line of sight. I don't think I can get nine kills. Sure, I can get Jen to Broom Breach, but then she's stuck in there until someone else gets in there, and I, the only person that could would be Dal. I think I'm just gonna have to give up on this one because that's literally. What have I done? I've destroyed two. Six. It's literally every single weapon cache except for this one. I did not see this one.
Okay, so Jen, I want to go back to where she still has the Gale Grenade. this spill because that just just destroys some that's door Okay, let's try this. Get rid of you, just as is. Go here, use laptop, Gale Grenade. Gale Grenade. Oh, it not. Mm -hmm. Damn it. That does get one of the caches, though. A gale grenade here. And then there. <laughs> Use laptop. That's open now. Predictive bolt this way. You grab the intel. What? That's kind of bad though. Oh, unless. What if Banks puts a Death Star here? Does this count as a knockback? No. It doesn't. You have a time boost now though. You're gonna die to this thing.
Okay, grab intel, swap with you, I guess, so that gets him a mana. is this doesn't get her enough actions. <laughs> so I could probably save his life, right? Yeah. Okay. Um... Problem is, does this kill Jen? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> certainly does. Um, you don't knock back, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the nine weapon caches killed at all. Oh, we've got a, one of these assholes. Shepherd Hooks would. Um. Goes here, she might have enough. Oh, <laughs> sorry, dude. That's funny, though. They, they shot the ball reactor, dude. didn't count. Also, Zam didn't trigger. So Death Star triggers before, okay. It's good to know. And we're in an ad break, so I will wait.
Lord of the Rings Return to Moria was released? <laughs> I missed that. Wish I could move this guy into a line of sight for Zan. I was figured that was gonna happen, but I had to check. I need to deal with the chapel, dude. Oh, you're in the way. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, Zan's about to get wrecked for where he is. Is the goddamn shepherd. Now let me move back because I moved Zan here. I just moved Zan there. Wait, what? Didn't he kill before? Oh, didn't he say he was gonna kill? No. Okay. Um.
Okay, she can't get that. I can close this now. Dolls kind of stuck in here until they get hit. I love how this guy is just completely broken because of this riot block. Yeah, Dal. Yeah, that's never happening. Oh, this is all kinds of awful. You don't die from that. Oof. You go first. Looks cuz oh, how in the hell do I do this? Hey, Doc, you really need to move. Can't put a Death Star on those. Put it on like every other wall but these special electrified walls. Maybe? Death Star. No, I can't put it on them. That's rough.
So this guy cannot see the person that's going to get hit. So he doesn't trigger, which is great. Actually, I need to do probably Death's Door. Here. You're sitting here wondering how hard it would be to make one of those purple holographic displays in the middle of the room. Uh, no idea. <laughs> good, good luck. Okay, predictive bolts. Gem chain bolt. To you, to you, to you. Zan, go here. Oh, you're in cover, aren't you, you bastard? <laughs> if you go there, I'd be able to knock you. <sighs> Death Star, you. Instead, I guess. Although I could Death Star this as well, but. Predictive bolt. Oh, the dock is in a terrible place. Yeah, the duck's dead. So is Jen, to be honest. Hi, Cheeky Moon. Thank you for the look. I appreciate it. This is awful. The amount of heavies. Of riot priests. Oh wait, you got swap now. I can save one of them. Banks doesn't have any mana though. It's the only problem with her, she needs mana to be able to resurrect. I think this might be a level restart. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually going to redeploy you two. Let's breach. Hey, you're just dead, dead. Which is so much better. Um. Question of these guys. I can move here, grab Intel, throw a right block there, and then swap, and then charge. But it means Dal still doesn't get to use the computers. <laughs> I 
Hmm. It's, it's mainly getting to these two. This room. That's the problem, because there's no windows into it. At all. Oh, I can predictive bolt this, can't I? I wonder... You grab that intel, chain bolt... Rewind... There we go. Uh, we're right, what? Because this just disables this one really easily <laughs> um remove you in grab intel chain bolt bam oh i can't see because you're in the goddamn way and i need you to kill Yes, I could move you here. I'm gonna put Zan there. Now you grab the intel chain bolt. He'll end up out of the window. <laughs> I have an idea. Grab intel, uh, predictive bolt, what? Pain bolt, you into you into you. Oh, you're still in the wrong place though. And again, so is Jen. This just clears things a lot easier, though, is what I'm going for. But we're not going to get dials at all. You can use laptop, though, and then you can charge to this one. Use that laptop. So at least we've got these two doors. And this one, I kind of don't need to worry about because I can get Jen in and out of there. I am still really worried about all these. The heavies are insane, though.
You shouldn't fire back now. I'm gonna put a Death Star there. Then we'll broom. Actually, wait. You need. Need to go here. Get that. Oh, you can't do predictive bolt because there's already something in the freaking way. Now you can. Oh. Uh, you stay there, but you need to time boost Jan. Uh, Jen. Sedative on you. Then predictive bolt to take out this guy. You, Broom Breach, into here. And destroy that and oh you shot them instead you daft bastard <laughs> actually I don't mind that yay we got rid of you Can you see that? Oh, you can. Not that, though. Chapel Shepherd is called Sam. Bit on the nose, don't you think? Um, you can move. For me to do this. Rewind everything actually.
Oh, that didn't eat you. Interesting. That was a waste of death's doll. Okay, so let's try a predictive bolt here. Now we got mana. I need to rewind actually. I'm gonna move the doctor. Zan is going to move there, predictive bolt here. You're going to sensor slam that way. So now we get mana. Then... I think I should swap. Oh, I can't. I don't have mana for it. Never mind. Um, he still has a broom breach left. Need to destroy at least one more. If I broom breach here. Will this work? No, it has to be on that. I figured it might. He could still move as is, right? Yeah, because I, I was right next to the window when I did this. Uh, you are going to shoot that. So we've got that done. Oh, I can't do banks as now. I've used all the mana on the map. I mean, it'd be I'd be able to do it if I was in easy mode, because you get it for all the laptop stuff. <laughs> yeah, I can now open the door. Woo! Hmm. Yeah, I think this track is dead. <laughs> Sorry. Let's 
survive till the end of turn five, it's turn four. You can just straight up go bam. That's that one sorted. Um You seriously don't see them? How about here? Now you can. Oh, wait. Go there, predicted bolt this, you static blast that. Now you get mana back, which means you can time boost Jen, who can then static blast this to kill them. And the dock just runs away. And you. Oh, you can actually hit them through the wall. We'll take a step back. And predictive fault. Basically wanted to get Dal some mana. Wait, deal with all enemies by the end of turn five, it's turn five. Yay, but there's still more enemies to come. How does that work? Uh still have a death door which I kind of have to use on you I think again Jen could just knock them back anyway they still also have two gale grenades Oh, we can kill them. Oh, yep, forgot about that. Um, actually, predictive bolt that away. Gen, do that. Dark. No, Doc, you might just be able to do that. Okay, so you can be knocked back. We put a Death Star here. Jen goes Gale Grenade. That gets rid of you, and then Zan gets you into that, which kills you. We dealt with all of the enemies until turn five. Okay. Done. We didn't get all of the 
We only got two of them. That's because I forgot the mana. <laughs> Advance. Okay, we've done everything we can to buy live time. Can we please go make sure she actually uploads? All right, but we check the perimeter on the way. Zan, you and I take the north route. The rest of you go south. Broadcast center. Slightly early. Damn it, where's Zan? Liv and the druid are in there. We need to listen in. Didn't he give you his... vessel? Yes, and I'm proud of you for remembering the term, but I suck at his eavesdropping trick. You have to imagine yourself breaching over and over and piece together the snippets you hear each time. All I really get is body language and tone of voice. If this could be our shot at Liv, I have to know. Try? Okay... Blah blah blah, I'm Liv Kennedy. I'm mean to everyone, but I'm probably just scared of looking weak. Haha, <laughs> do Rion. I'm tall and mysterious and my poison hurts like hell. That wasn't the evisceration I was hoping for. I wear shades indoors and I've failed to kill at least two people. Yes, drag him. Okay, I'm still sounding calm but in a cold way where I might actually be angry. I sound like I'm being dismissive. Okay, yep, Jen was right, I'm angry now, and at some point I definitely say metal. I'm still ignoring your tone, but my body language is kind of threatening now. I sounded like I said seizure, cesium kimchi. But I'm guessing that's not it. What the hell? Yes, I heard this one. She said yes. Oh, Jesus, shit. What? She killed him. Huh? We just got word the broadcast's, the broadcast's going out. Wait, seriously? So that was Kennedy, not you? Yeah, but she also just shot one of her own, so I have no idea what's happening anymore. Chapel are going scorched earth. They're going to destroy their own servers to stop it. Hold position. Zan and I are 40 seconds out. 40 awkward seconds later. We were gonna breach without you, but there's a massive mech type thing in there and it seems like we would die. Siege Cleric, Tier 1, War Machine. Now they're sweating. I can see you, please, but can we actually defeat it? Do you have any spells that corrode, melt, or shatter tank grade armor plating? No. Do they? Liv's team? I think her hard hitter was the guy she just shot. Then this could get interesting. Oh, yay! What the hell? Big cannon defenestrate. Bullshit! <laughs> oh, wow, what? That thing has five armor. And two stability. Okay. Defeat the sle siege cleric. There's a hint. Prevent ten reinforcements in total. Finish by end of turn two. Have Dal deal a total of ten knockback damage. I'm gonna say the hint is using Dal. Too big to fit through windows or death's door. How much damage is this doing though? That is so many reinforcement doors. Holy crap. Um, I should be able to at least get Two of the doors? Maybe three. Uh, 
Oh, but the siege mech's going to be able to look through the goddamn window. Attacks in a wide sweep affecting the three tiles in front of the siege cleric. Unless, can we resurrect him? I think he's a good shot. Uh, let's actually see. Breach. Move you. That's a mine. Hi, resurrecting the druid hitman. You showed me the hint already. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. But that's what I planned on trying. Christ on a bike, how did that not kill me? It did. New job. Big Mac. Kill it. Fuck it, I'm game. I can't believe that worked. I'm a people person. What do you do? Brittling Dart. Incoming damage is increased by their brittle count, then brittle is reduced by one, so applying lots of brittle before attacking is extra efficient. Okay. Rabid Bite. Transform into a dog, run to and bite any enemy. They become hostile to everyone. Ends Rion's turn, but enemies won't attack him till next turn. Oh. And steal mana. Take one mana from an ally you can see. Skewer the target with a vine, then pull them towards you by three tiles. The initial hit deals no damage to friends. Ah. Seal doll. <laughs> Other type of seal. Um, predictive bolt. How far can you move? Bullshit! You can't get far enough. Um, Okay, I have to do that. We need to move there. Okay, hang on. Zan. Zan move here. Predictive bolt. Do that. Zan. Predictive bolt. Gale grenade. Sweet. Uh, you can now move here. has two stability, so I can't even move the damn thing. And use this once per encounter. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, he can defuse it, but it costs his action.
Interesting. But I don't know if this just launches more. So I'm going to defuse it. And we're going to brittling dart this. When a target is brittle, incoming damage is increased by their brittle count and armor is lost like hell. Each attack removes one brittle. How in the hell? Because it's also gas masked. <laughs> it sucks. I need to stop reinforcements, but I also need the reinforcements. Because it's how I'm going to get mana. Wait. Oh, I thought she was moving. My bad. Um, are you going to trigger your own minds is the thing. Also, what happens if I do this? Um, I'm going to move him back. What happens if we do transference into Rion onto that thing? take him this way. He just blocked all of it. It was only four damage. So that wasn't worth it. Let's do what we did before. Use mine and Whittling Dart. The thing is, can Jen? She can't knock this guy back enough without getting extra turns. Time boost. just doesn't get far enough. To knock them back in the right way. Wait, 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 wait. Gale grenade. Her. Heal door. I'm boost. Goodbye. Heal door. Okay. a bit rude.
I don't... I, I can't do predictive bolt right now. Uh, oh, it's always going to cost mana. Okay. Um... Grab the intel. Static blast that. Move here. Room breach to here. Grab the intel. Not going to come and swipe at us, is it? Doesn't look like it. Steel mana. You only steal the one. Awesome. Diffuse that mine. Rittling dirt. Yeah, I'm not going to finish by the end of turn two. And I realise I haven't used the Dal at all. That's funny. I want to have a look. Seven tips for this level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's telling me exactly what I was thinking. Um, you need to steal mana. Oh. Jen needs to get the hell out of there. Uh, but, hang on. Dock out of there. Hi, Ingabar. How are you? I hope you're doing well. What does this game look like? It kind of feels a bit like XCOM, but into the breach. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, that also works. <laughs> um, Three bolt burst, because this should knock you back into that mine. Good. <laughs> uh, and then, Zan, predictive bolt this way. Oh, you've used your both your gale grenades. Crap. We still do that though. You have three brittle. When a target is brittle, incoming damage is increased by their brittle count and armor is lost like health. Each attack removes brittle. So 
that is going to deal some damage. Okay. Anyway, you need to kill this thing. I'll get out of there anyway. This is... It's not really cyberpunk, it's more, um, oh god. It's more Shadowrun. It's technology and magic. No. But you can redo all your actions. This thing's really resistant to, like, everything. Okay, okay, Are they resistant to love? Yeah, unfortunately, I think it is. <laughs> it's a war machine. It's even resistant to being thrown out of a window, which is very much a mechanic in this game. <laughs> Literally can't do much. Did an enemy come out of here? No. Should have, though. Yeah, I need mana for this, but I can't currently get it. These deal some down. I want to see how much this damage does. I'm going to undo it, like, immediately. Oh, there's an ad break. I will wait. In fact, I need to use the bathroom. I will be right back. Boop.
Okay. So yeah, I want to see how much damage this does. Oh! It's, it just straight up removes the armor. Did not realize that. Holy crap! There's so much more damage than I was expecting. The other door. Um, diffuse the mine. Oh, you just can't get there. Great. Um, Okay, we done. Yeah, this is getting more and more difficult, and I love it. Another one. Great, two of them. God oh, damn it, there's two of them in there. Hi, Rion. Nice to meet you. Can you help us take down two more siege clerics? What does it pay? I just brought you back from the dead. If you did work without a contract, that's your problem. Sort it out later. We have to get in there and stop them before they destroy the servers. How many do we need online for the broadcast to finish? One might be enough, but I don't want to cut it that close. Protect as many as you can. While taking out two walking tanks while our anti-armor guy is kicking up a pay dispute. Good summary, let's go. At least one server must survive, 11 remain intact. I am very glad though that we have so many books of mana Problem is, they're sending in another one, and it's an unsealable door, so we'll have three to deal with. That is... unfair, to say the least. So they're going to destroy two of them straight off the bat. No action costs, but costs one mana, and then we can steal, but use one per turn. All right, so incoming damage is in increased by their brittle count, then brittle is reduced by one, so applying lots of brittle before attacking is extra efficient. Okay, I see how it is worded now. Hmm. 
This knocks back, hang on. <laughs> you didn't take damage, so you don't get mana for it. Fair enough. Oh, and they're going to blow it up with the mine as well. Fragile and movable. <laughs> so right off the bat, this is two, four, six. Servers dying. I have to go here, right? Grab Intel. This is gonna feel a bit weird. Real move here. Do not take the mana. Dark. So he's on breach. Oh good, there was none there. I was like, wait a minute. Breach. I love that it knocks them back. Grab the intel. <laughs> Riz oh, are you too far away? No! <laughs> ruins my plans. Oh, you good, you could go the, there. Grab intel. Shoot Rion. Now we just transferred that mana to him. Grab Intel. Steel Mana. Dodge! Now it has... Um, I need to kill this dude. is that's going to destroy the servers. Unless I do that. Nice. Um, call 
also going to destroy the servers. Or at least one of them. Oh, it can't be knocked back. She can't deal damage to it. She can grab the intel and damage this guy. Shoot that? No. <laughs> you saved that server. <laughs> Technically, I could save this one, too. Oh, I never used and did that. Okay. Probably should have transferred to that. Hang on, rewind. Here we go, transfer you to that. Wait a minute. <laughs> I saved them. Okay. That isn't even in danger. Nice, that's one down. I'll accept that. Ah, I hate that though. Okie dokie. Zam, I need you to grab the intel.
effective bolt. Oh, and he do to grab the intel. Oh, you can't make it. Okay, now you... Damn it. <laughs> you can... Oh, I can change form. Diffuse mine. Now you can move. Uh, Doc, I need you to resurrect Rion. Who's out of range? I forgot that. I forgot the range part. the range on it. Oh. I need to check. Grab Intel, resurrect. That's kind of okay. We do rabid bite. Change form. Use mine. Walk here. Now I can get that. <laughs> also, Wait, where were you? I, I need to somehow knock that. Into that beam. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back to Zan. You can make it sweet. Predictive bolt that away. I'm probably going to lose these two servers, but I might save these two. Um, Rion, you need to rabid bite this guy. Change form. Use mine. Here, you take you here to grab it intel, and you can charge this wall. Thanks. You go here. Oh, no, I've messed up again. Need to go all the way back to Zan. Leave him here, but not do his thing. Grab a bite. Change form. Use mine. Walk here. You go here. Grab intel. Charge. Well, that's probably not going to work either. He's just too close. Wait, no, got it. <laughs> Rewind to this. But now you're not going to be in range of the resurrect, are you? Ah! <laughs> Actually, no, this... Mm. I really want Zam to take advantage. Because he can drag things three. So he can drag this one space. But he's not going to have the mana.
Okay, time boost. Predictive bolt. Yeah, it's not going to deal enough damage. Move you there. Oh, no, we're fine. I think. Maybe. Possibly. Um, grab intel. Time boost. So let's not time boost now, let's resurrect now. And then steal mana off of gem. So then you can do brittling dart. Brickling Dart, then Zan, Predictive Bolt, no, not Predictive Bolt just yet, Time Boost, now Predictive Bolt, then you Impaling Vine, oh god that's so much damage, then we move you here, um, Grab intel. Another brickling dart. Followed by... How far does this launch you? Not too far, but... I can maybe... Kill? You still haven't moved. Oh, I might as well pick it up. And Zan can kill it? Okay, two down, two to go. Jen can move. Jen can move enough to do this, to save one server, and then grab the intel. No one has any moves left. Death Star's useless. You two have mana, which is Perfect. there. Move you here, grab the intel, resurrect you. <laughs> Got this guy so many times. Doesn't actually do it. Oh, because gas mask. Duh. Um, you still have your action. We do this whole thing again. Wait, 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 steal mana. Dictive Bolt. Rickling Dart. Impaling Vine. Great. It's a slam. 
Actually, wait, 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 wait. I move you there. Right there. Wait, no. Doc. You might be able to do that. Okay. Are you actually attacking this? It looks like it. That almost kills. What if I just place you here? That does kill. I was wondering. Um, Zan still has an action. I'm gonna move Zan here for now. Oh, you can't move anymore. That's fine. Like, I don't know how this thing's attacking. It's got a sweeping smash. Attacks in a wide sweep, affecting the three tiles in front of the siege cleric. I guess I can foresee it. Oh, it's because these walls are electric. That's why. The stability on this thing is crazy. I'm not going to take the mana just yet. Um... I'm going to move Zan just a little bit. I want to get you over here. Right. Oh, you can't resurrect now? Um, that's kind of bad. Because I can't get him... Oh, I can get him mana there, but he dies. Steel mana. Guess I could move him there. Oh, if it knocks someone out, it can be used again. Didn't knock them out.
At least I saved the server. <laughs> Yeah, still can't do anything to it just yet. I mean, there's only two servers left. Uh oh. You bastard. <laughs> I can save it, I think. Oh, I can save that at least. Predictive Bolt. Move you there, grab intel, resurrect Rion again. Shh. <laughs> I feel sorry for this druid. I really, really do. Do that, steal mana off of Jen, who's going to take the mana first. Steal mana. Another brickling dart, impaling vine. Nice. Um, Jen is going to go here. I don't think she can. Can she save this? No, not quite. We save one, though. <laughs> That's all we need. Oh, hang on. I can just move you here and sensor slam. It deals one damage, so I can't do much to that. Oh, she can now move fully. So we save two. <laughs> Nice, we got them all. Took 30 minutes to do it, though. <laughs> District Chapel reinforcements for the strike team. Complete. Ensure the recording is broadcast nationwide. Complete. Defeat the siege clerics. Complete. Cooperate professionally with the other team. Look, surely this one is not on us. <laughs> Perk point, perk point, perk point. So, is Rion part of our... Ah, he's probably defected to our team now, I'm guessing. Victim is also sedated, losing this much health each turn. That's a lot. Frost fingers. After the vine deals damage to an enemy, apply one brittle to them. Yes. Targeting open ground within three tiles pulls you towards it. Okay, so movement thing. If you target a teammate, your action is refunded. Okay. And corrosive. Destroys any gas mask the target may have. I mean... Yes? <laughs> But I also like this because he can use it all the time. But it's only if they deal damage, so if they it only deals one damage. But if they have armor, I'd have to corro I'd have to brittling dark them. Dart them. Then frost fingers. I'm gonna go for frost fingers. 
Nidal, I kind of really don't care about you. You travel at least three tiles, inflict three knockback. That's probably good. No limit on how many times Rampage can trigger per turn. <gasps> Ooh. That's really powerful if you have a good setup. Gonna go for it. And then Zan, Hurtful Lie, which is more damage, Time Bomb, yeah. I wonder if it's about time I got damage for this. I'm using Predictive Bolt more than anything though, so I think I'd rather have the damage on this to potentially knock them out for conviction. Can I get any more outfits? Still three shot for Death MD, which looks totally not a cult. I mean, this is a cult phase. <laughs> I may as well save it for White Witch at this point. Oh, professional. Blood on the ice, okay. It's a bit bright for an assassin. Wiztack. That's eh, not bad. I like it how his hair colour changes. Tox <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely toxic in one way. <laughs> Overgrown. I don't really like any of his. Just trying to realize, figure out what he's holding. The staff, staff. Almost like a sweeping brush, but not. It's quite got wire coiled around it. An umbrella and another umbrella. Okay, no chats, no dreams. Missions, we're getting the Siege Cleric, so we're halfway through Act 3. But I think I'm just going to call it here because there's only 10 minutes left of my stream before I have to go to work. So I think I'm probably going to play this tomorrow. I know I was trying to return to a two game per week stream schedule, but I really am enjoying this. So yeah. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate your faces. Uh, we're going to go and raid. Who shall we go and raid? Who shall we go and raid? Uh, let's go raid FG. It's been a while, I think. Yeah, it's been a while. Two weeks <laughs> since we last raided her. FG's great. She's playing Car Keeper, uh, which is a game I'm interested in, but there's too many games to play. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for being here. I hope you all have a great rest of the day, and I'll be back with probably more of this tomorrow, because I'm hooked. It's a really good game. The writing's very excellent, and it's my sort of humour. But for now, I'm going to go and suffer at work. Bye!